Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Rollo88 coming at you live and in the flesh. And Bilbert the Magician coming at you live and in the cotton. That's right, Bilbert. And today, let's talk about sex. Well, kind of. Um, that's just to get that out there. Um, so, when I was in sixth grade, I went to the Denver Museum. I got a migraine, and my homeroom teacher... Miss Rackness or whatever tried to massage my hand to get it to go away which I thought was kinda weird but not as weird as when I went to sit down on some backpacks and my uh, other teacher Miss Keller touched well you know groped me basically um so yeah so some of you sitting out there probably are like, well, I don't believe this story at all. So, um, if you don't believe that story, I mean, this happened when I was like 11 years old, 11 or 12 years old, then I don't have to believe you when you say, hey, I was raped, you know? So, I'm just saying. It goes both ways. The Me Too movement, just because you hate men, doesn't mean, you know, oh, Me Too, I hate men too. Well, guess what? That's not how it works. The species has to survive. Human beings are going to survive. So just because you hate men doesn't mean all the other women are going to. And yeah, just because you're saying me too, that doesn't mean anything. We have a voice. We count. And yeah, um, you know, revenge of the cis, the cisgendered male, right? Oh no, it's a privileged white man. Well, guess what? You're damn right. And um... I don't know. I'm not privileged. I work for everything I've got. And I like black people too, and I like minorities. Probably more than you do, actually, you leftist swine. Anyways, um, it's funny how it's changed so much. I remember uh, back in like the 60s, it was, you know, the Republicans were the bad ones. And now that we see how evil the liberal agenda is, it's like, wow, you know? So yeah, I was molested at about 12 years old. And if you don't believe me, then I don't believe you were raped. Me too. See? I was molested too. But you don't believe me when I say me too, because I'm a man. Because I'm a white man. And I think that's stupid. And I think that's inequality, and I think it's dumb. Alright? Sexual sins, besides homicide, are some of the worst things you can do. I know from... You know, I'm just, I'm going to be completely honest. I know because I've had sexual sins done to me, and I've done sexual sins to others, if I'm being completely honest. And so, there you go. Now, I know, well, shoot. No, you know what? Screw it. I am going to be completely honest. I don't care. Because in this, today's day and age, you should be honest, I think. Um... You should be honest about everything. I think that's the only way you can get into heaven. I think that's the only way Jesus is going to listen to you, is if you're honest. And yeah, it may not be the best thing to get onto YouTube and have you guys be my therapist. But, you know, some discussions are bigger than just one person, is what I'm trying to say. So, that's always been the case. Oh, and uh, Hillary Clinton, if you try to censor anyone... Or impose your fascist ideology on anything, I will be standing right in the wings, ready, and you know that. So, anyways, this is Rollo88. Um, and I gotta say, I was also introduced to porn at a very young age because we didn't always have the best supervision from, you know, you know, it just happens, okay? from my parents. You know, I'm going to be completely honest. It's We didn't always have a babysitter, so sometimes we babysit ourselves, and sometimes that resulted in bad things, okay? Um, but I feel like that's the best way to live your life. You need to explore this world, and you need to um, see the light side and the dark side. You know, you can't have a holy, heavenly, shining beacon without a dark underbelly of hell, you know? So... You have to balance it out, and you just have to do the best you can to be a, a good person. And I think that's been the theme with my vlogs so far. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep vlogging. Um, 
I was gonna order a stuffed crust pizza today. Um, I tried to order one the other day, but they, I ordered it online, and apparently they forgot to put the cheese in the crust. No, oh, that's bogus. That's no good at all. I love stuffed crust pizza. Me too, Bilbert. That's why I ordered it. So, anyways, this was my Me Too video, and you know what? I like Trump. Don't like Hillary so much. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm having a pretty good 2018. I'm playing through Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 13, um, trying to level up prestige in my Call of Duty again. Um, I need to get back to watching some streamers. Um, I've watched Boogie stream before. He has had some really good um, stories on his streams, and like talking about his mom and dogs and certain pets he's had and growing up and stuff like that. Boogie2988, shout out to you, my friend. You are one of my favorite YouTubers. You are a very heroic influence on this platform, and I think you're doing great things. Um, you've been doing great things. You're like the original YouTuber, talking to uh, people and giving them a piece of your mind and your opinion and stuff. And Boogie, I try to be like you. I try to keep things centered, um, not too far left, not too far right. Um, I will admit sometimes I do go too far right because... Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> well, lately a lot of people have been going too far right, and so I think that now is when the left really picks up steam. I don't know. It's really sad when politics devolves to um, the swing of the pendulum based on kids' lives, you know, but I, I, I don't know if it's always been this way. I don't think it's ever been this bad, um, but yeah. Anyways, I just hope that everyone out there is safe. I hope that you're not being abused physically, sexually, mentally, whatever. I hope everyone is in a good place. I hope you're all saving money. I hope that you that you're praying to Jesus or whatever your uh, belief is. You know, we all believe. I think we all believe in some kind of higher power, some form of God. Um, whatever that may be. I mean, maybe that's your great-grandma. I know whenever I think, like, spiritually, my great-grandma is one of the first people that comes to my mind every time. And when I was hospitalized for my depression and everything else, I could have sworn that I saw my great-grandma hovering above me, you know, in the bed. And I know a lot of people are just going to be like, no, you didn't. But you know what? It's comforting to me. And no one can take that away from me. It's kind of like knowledge, you know. No one can take knowledge away from you. If you've learned something and retained it, you know, it's like MacGyver. You put MacGyver on a nuclear submarine, he's going to find a way to get out using only a toothpick and a, and a you know, um, rubber band. So, anyways, like, comment, subscribe, you guys. Um, be at peace, be at ease. Just know that... Um, Jesus is Lord. He's up in heaven looking down on us. We just had Easter. He suffered immense amounts of pains on the, on the cross, and he found his joy in heaven. He triumphed. So as Jesus triumphed, so shall we triumph and get through our lives and go to be our be go to find our joy in heaven. Wow, that's what I was trying to say. Good job, Rolo. Thanks, Gilbert. Like, comment, subscribe before I start burping. <laughs> Okay, uh, I love you guys. Um, yeah, I'm just putting it all out there. I don't care. Um, I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, we can talk about something more meaningful than stuffed crust pizza. Although, there's not much more in life more meaningful than stuffed crust pizza. Am I right? I'm right. Bye.